Hey guys, so I just had an influx of new subscribers to my channel. If you are one of those new subscribers, you are not here by accident. Uh, this is this is so weird. I'm gonna synopsize it because I realize sometimes the inner workings of like something manifesting are not as interesting to other people as they are to the people that it happens to. So at the risk of being somebody who's like recounting the details of a dream and boring the hell out of everybody, I'm just gonna synopsize this as quickly as I can and then I will probably dissect the hell out of it. So on Monday afternoon, for a variety of reasons which I will get into, I decided to disable the comments on this channel. Um, and as I was doing that, I thought, well, you know, this, this might hurt my channel's reach. I hear that it's not good to have comments turned off. But, you know, my favorite YouTuber whose content is fantastic, I watch every video that he puts up, he has all of his comments disabled and always has, and um, it's good because his content really doesn't need to be discussed, just like mine doesn't really need to be discussed. And uh, he's got, a, you know, a huge following, and I still don't even really know if a huge following is what I want, so it's like, you know, I, I just thought, okay, it might hurt my channel, but so be it. Like, I, the, the comments have got to go. And, uh, and I also thought, you know, when I started, you know, I've said on this channel multiple times in the past that uh, I only want this channel to get bigger if I can do it exactly the way I want. I don't want to have to go on anybody's podcast. I don't want to have to talk to anybody because the, the subject matter on this channel is very personal to me. And it's, I think it's pretty important, you know, like it's talking about major life changes and I've gotten really personal here. And I just don't really feel like being questioned about it by other people or, you know, I just want to make videos here. Like when I just got out of the shower, um, talk about what I want to talk about. And uh, I don't want to do anything I don't want to do at this point in my life to try to get something that's kind of antithetical to this whole manifestation thing anyway. You know, I want what I want. I want it the way I want it. And so I've said in the past, like, you know, if the content here is good enough, People will talk about it. They'll share it with each other. And, you know, all it would take is a few influential people with large followings to mention my channel. And it, you know, I don't need the YouTube algorithm. That's the approach I've always taken to this. So on Monday, I kind of had this like come to Jesus meeting with myself again. I just said, okay, like this channel's turning into social media again. I don't like it. I'm shutting the comments off. This is going to be like a one way transmission again. If you get something from my channel, great. If you don't, who cares, right? Doesn't affect me. Um, shut the channel, shut the comments off. Within a few hours, the toxic drip of social media started to subside. It's amazing how bad it is. If you are involved in social media heavily, uh, I highly recommend just completely removing it for like one week and see what happens. You will see that there is like a toxic withdrawal period it's crazy. So um, on Wednesday morning, less than 36 hours later, a YouTuber with a large following posted a video um, sort of, uh, I don't know, how would you put this, critiquing, somebody said, ooh, shots fired. So kind of critiquing two female YouTube gurus. I don't know exactly what they do. I, I, I want to get to this in a minute uh, about one of them, but I don't know exactly what they do. All I know is that they sell expensive stuff. You know, they're selling a lifestyle. They're one, they're just, you know, run of the mill YouTube lifestyle coach. It, do you want to be like me? Well then, you know, here buy my $5,000 course or whatever, something like that. So she was talking about these people. And then at the end, she did this whole thing talking about my channel grabbed a bunch of clips from my channel. And, and so that's probably how many of you new subscribers got here. So within like 36 hours of just taking a stand and saying, I'm not doing anything that, that compromises what I want in order to like, you know, uh, whore myself out to the YouTube algorithm. Fuck it. People will talk about my content if it's good enough, you know? 
within 36 hours of that, a video had been posted. And what's, what's weird about this, what's weird about this to me is that um, I'm pretty sure this video, I mean, had to have been being made and produced and stuff before I shut the comments off and had that really strong, you know, do this line in the sand. This is what this channel is going to be. It's going to be good enough for word of mouth or it's not going to be anything. It was really strong. It was just like, fuck it. You know, my favorite saying, fuck it. Just fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not doing this a way I don't want to do it anymore. Um, so that's what happened. And since then I've gotten like, I don't know, three or 400 more subscribers. Like the channel, I don't know. It's like three or 4%. It's grown like three or 4%. So, um, you know, that may not, I don't know, is that mind blowing for you? It blew my mind because I, you know, I'm the one experiencing this. So I'm just like, wow, I know what just shifted for me mentally. And there was an immediate physical manifestation, like immediate. And it had already been kind of like in the works before I even had that strong decision and intention. Um, if you are still waffling on whether or not, like, you, things are working this way, for, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just kind of dumbfounded by it. Uh, it points to time not being linear, one, which there's just no way of wrapping your mind around. But two, it really, like, you know, if you're an Esther Hicks fan and you hear her talk about you know, the instant that you have a desire, it's basically all the components have been created right then and they're in the vortex, whatever, you know, it's like, what the hell is the vortex? Um, like, that's what this seems to be for me. And I've noticed this a million times when you have a strong mental shift, especially if, if it's one of these strong, solid feeling shifts where you say, you like, you know, I'm going to do what's right for me. Uh, I'm going to do the right thing, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, even if it means that I'm just going to kind of shit can this thing that I kind of want or something. Uh, those like strong feeling decisions produce results. And sometimes they are just kind of shocking. This was shocking for me. Um, one other thing that's weird about this. Um, so one of the people in this video, I'll link to that, her, by the way, the YouTuber's name is Brittany Venti and I'll link to the video in the description below that I'm, that, you know, whatever, sent a bunch of people here. What's really interesting to me is that the very first person, like the first frame of the video is of this woman. I think her name's Mina. And I saw a video of hers had to be like three years ago. I watched part of it. I'm like, okay, this is just another person, you know, selling some kind of lifestyle, selling some kind of idea to women, um, clicked off of it. I don't know if she was recommended to me after that. I must have said, don't recommend this channel to me or something because just like three or four days ago before Monday, but not, couldn't have been a week ago even, I thought of her. Um, I was driving around and I thought of her for some reason. She reminds me of, um, for those of you that are uh, Sex and the City fans from, from the way back, there's this episode of Sex and the City where this international friend of Carrie's like flies in from out of town with all these like exotic men, rich foreign men. And she's like, Carrie, you must come out to dinner. Oh, you must come to Italy. She's just like uh, buying stuff for, you know, it was crazy. And this, the woman reminds me so much of this Mina woman. I don't know why I thought of this. I have no idea why this entered my brain. Um, and I thought of her and I thought, I wonder who that was. I've never seen her again since then in like three years. I wonder what she's doing. I wonder if she's successful. She's just sort of like, you know, exotic. I don't know what nationality she is, maybe Indian or something, but um, I thought of her just a couple days ago, and I thought, I don't know her name. I have no idea how I would even look her up. I wonder what she's up to. Well, there's the answer. <laughs> um, there's the answer, like five days later, I find that shit to be super weird, super weird. I haven't thought of her in three years. 
So, you know, that also kind of makes me wonder, this whole thing is a quantum field where everything is connected. Uh, is it that I detected somehow through this quantum field that I was being tied together with that woman something was being made uh, you know that was going to talk about my channel that was you know is did did something in the quantum field alert me to all of this and that's why on monday i finally just said i'm done with this um maybe i knew sort of on some level that i didn't need to have the comments on because um you know at least one person was already about to just talk about me it's so weird we'll never know um, I guess. But anyway, that is what just happened. That's what's totally weird about this. And uh, the takeaway for this for me, as always, because there is so little that is is firm and defined about what just happened and things like this that happened to, you know, to be a component that show to show up and be a component of what it is you want manifesting. The takeaway that I have from this, the only thing that I can tell you for sure, um, is that if you're doing something in your life that is making you feel like you're compromising yourself, stop it. That's that's the only takeaway I can I can give you from this. Um, if you try to live your life with integrity, you will find I think that that pays dividends. Whether or not from a manifestational standpoint that is necessary, um, I find that living your life with integrity pays dividends. And living your life with integrity means not screwing yourself over to try to get something either. And to be honest with you, I think uh, until I had that moment on Monday, I didn't realize that I was really kind of compromising what I wanted in the name of my channel having a bigger reach, which who even cares? I don't even make any money off of this. Um, except for from uh, except for from ads, which are staying on because this channel made $200 in ad revenue last month, which is going to go directly to cat and dog food for my local Humane Society. Every penny of it. I already do that every month anyway, so I'll just put an extra 200 bucks in there now, um, this time in September. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is a very typical style video. So if you like this, then stay and um, have a great day.